Aloha and welcome back. I'm Fade Panther and this is Scarlet Nexus. So we're looking for the third key. Looks like there's a resource nearby. Got some, like, not an energy drink, but like a protein milk thing. <laughs> and uh, a sandwich of sorts. So, I'm hoping that I'm not as tired as I was the last few episodes. Here we go. We should use the Nobby's power. It sprayed something like oil. Don't get it on you. That attack worked. That must be a weak spot. Yes! Yeah. That was brilliant. on this facility, but a long time ago there was a plan to develop an academic city nearby. Let me it looks like an art museum was already built, so maybe they're using that.
Took a bit of time, but we got the key. Gate needs a key card to open, I think. Yeah, there's the wrong ones. Up this way. A lot of freaking work just to pick up a goddamn key. pick up a goddamn key to a door that's right below where I was in the first place. Starring. Ugh, okay. Is this facility it looks like some sort of assembly line hey those boxes aren't they the same ones from that transport truck we saw <laughs> what is it Sugumi does it contain what I brought earlier a human head you've got to be kidding me all of these what in the world is this place others are being held in this building and others feed on human brains. 
Even if that's the case, why does it seem like this factory processes the brains? I hate to say it, but couldn't they just toss in the whole head if they're just feeding them to the others? This smell... Where is it coming from? It does smell a little strange here. Almost like... blood. Those ampules! I think... I'm going to be sick. This can't be real, right? Those were made by Spring Pharmaceuticals. Looks like Kyoka couldn't lose you. What is this? I think you've already figured it out. This is Spring Pharmaceutical's Seiron factory. To be more accurate, it's an other research facility they run jointly with the Seiron government. They're using these heads to make their products. <sighs> Shiden, stay calm. Just concentrate on stopping Yuito. Wait! Let's talk! Hey! First you won't tell me why you're trying to kill me. Now you're trying to hide this cool place? Don't you feel anything seeing what's going on here? What are you all thinking? By any means. Stop! I thought you were amazing since you were a cadet, Kasani. But now you're trying to kill Yuito and trying to hide this facility? What happened to you? This isn't like you! I don't have a choice! Shut up! You don't know anything about anything! Then tell us! We don't know anything because you won't tell us anything! out of human heads is crazy! We have to stop them! But Naomi... she needs this. What do you mean? What is this what? facility for? That's... Uh... <sighs> I can't take this anymore. I'm telling them everything. No, I will. This place is an other research facility run jointly with Spring Pharmaceuticals, just like Arashi said. Human brains of people with powers are being brought here. A portion of them are transplanted into others to turn them into other weapons. The rest are turned into a medical solution to feed the others. That's horrible. 
Hey, are you really sure about Seiron? I know New Himuka has a lot of its own issues. It's not right that the government monitors everyone and controls all the information. But Seiron causing the uprising, that's just as messed up. Can we really let them get away with transplanting human brains into others or processing the brains into drugs? No, we can't, obviously. That being said, there are, in fact, some people who've been forced to accept it. Like my brother. And then there's Kasane. People whose loved ones have been turned into others. They depend on that medication. Human-born others can temporarily regain their senses when they take that medication. Even letting them talk. Does Karin have a family member that's been metamorphosed? No, not a family member. As Luca or Fabuki mentioned it. Alice? <laughs> Yuito! His brain is... <laughs> Yuito! Yuito? Is this happening because I used my power? My head is... killing me! Are you okay? What's wrong? You look like you're in pain. There's something wrong with Yuito's brain. He's beginning to show signs of speech and memory impairment whenever he uses his power. I'm okay now. The pain is fading. Sorry to interrupt, but you need to leave now so we can call this a draw. Hurry up, or the others will come. We should leave too. That okay with you, Kasane? Yes. Yuito, our assignment is complete. We should withdraw. Yeah. We should get out of here as soon as possible. Wataru said he would report to Major General Fubuki for you. Okay. Uh, sorry. I know I should be the one to do it, but I'm just not feeling well. What are you talking about? It's okay. Don't worry about it. We all know how you feel. No, that's not exactly true. I can't understand how much pain you're in. I probably would have taken the ampule too if I were in your shoes. I know saying that won't help with whatever guilt or disgust you might be feeling. Thanks. I'm okay. The medication should be chemically processed, so consider them more like protein or amino acid supplements. It may be unpleasant, but looking at them this way might help you come to terms with it. Yeah, I know what you're saying, but it's just hard for me to do it. I know it might be difficult, but whatever you do, don't throw them up. What? You knew? We... well... We saw it happen. You were outside the hideout. Oh, we're sorry. Oh, right. I'm sorry. I know it's not in my stomach anymore, but I just couldn't... It's fine, but you have to fight through it. You can't make it a habit. You're right. Besides, Naomi... It must be so much harder for her. Being turned into another is awful enough, but now she has to... feed on these brains? I don't know where she is right now, or how she's doing. When I think about her, I know how much better off I am. If Naomi hasn't given up, then I can't either. I know I can get through it. After you do get through it, you'll be able to help support Naomi when you see her again. Yes. You're right. I... I need to get it together. I'm just wondering if New Himuka is stocking up on those ampules, knowing full well what they're made of. If that's the case, and they do indeed know, then they're going to have to answer to me. No. I have a feeling that New Himuka already knows everything. I just can't get myself to accept it. 
I'm sorry. Huh? You don't need to apologize. You have nothing to do with the hospital. I know, but I just wanted to apologize. I want to look into the hospital and do something about it. This is a tough position for the both of you. You too, Luca. Everything Karin has done must be hard for you. Sugumi had to see a lot of things she never wanted to as well. I think we've all had our fair share of suffering. But what's important is that we continue to support one another, right? Yeah. Sorry I worried everyone, and thank you. to talk to Luca for a change. I don't know what to tell you, Yuito. Just try not to do everything on your own. If there's too much to handle, let me help you pick up the slack. That's what a team is for. Thanks, Wataru. Okay. Uh, so this is a weird sort of realization I've had. Oh, she's playing racquetball. Um... Because the character cast for Yurito's campaign, I like a lot more. I'm not saying that the other cast is bad. I just frequently got upset at Sheedan. Um, Miss Speed Bunny was eh. I know they were trying really, really hard to have someone who is really, really fast, but also super lazy. And I guess they got that far. Um, the motherly figure is a motherly figure. I mean, cool. Kasani is the most interesting character in that party, to be perfectly honest. Um, but in this cr uh, crew... We've got Hanabi, we've got um, her, um, I forgot her name, uh, Luca, and the war vet. Like, they're, they're all very interesting characters to me. But, that said, Kasani's storyline is far more interesting, and like, almost everybody has forgotten um, Nagi. Like, he's just, she's just gone from the story. Whereas, Naomi is still a driving factor in Kasane's storyline, despite the fact that we're not even looking at her story, but we know. And even if I had played this one first, I would know that's the entire point. So, yeah, it's really, really weird. Okay. And the the whole mental like skipping time thing, while actually interesting, I will grant it that really messes with the timeline of stuff.
Thank you for coming. I'm sorry about what happened in Mizuhagawa. You don't have to apologize. We both had our reasons, so no hard feelings. I'm glad to hear you say that. I really wanted to go easy on you. You were a lot stronger than I anticipated, so I couldn't afford to hold back. Did you get hurt? You don't need to worry so much. I wasn't hurt, and even if I was, I can give myself first aid. Wow, that's impressive. I've always studied all sorts of things, so I could do anything on my own. I see. I do remember you having a good head on your shoulders ever since you were little. Hmm? Since I was little? How do you know what I was like when I was little? Oh, I was just imagining it. I'm sure that's what you must have been like. Why is she so panicked all of a sudden? I suppose I shouldn't doubt her since she's just worried about me. Anyway, I'm totally fine and I can take care of myself. Really, it's okay. All right. I'm sorry I'm such a worrier. I'd just like you to make one last promise to me. Stay away from Togetsu. Togetsu? Why should I promise that? I can't tell you why, but something dangerous might happen to you if you go there. I can't make a promise without knowing why. You have a point. I'm so upset that I can't do anything about it. I don't know what you're hiding or what you're trying to say to me, but I can tell that you're worried, so thanks for looking out for me. Be careful, Yuito. You too. So, you said you wanted to test this battle support program? Yeah, I want you to try it out. Is it safe? That's what the test is for. We don't have much time, let's get started. I'm installing it now. Okay, it's installed. Try using your power. Power? Uh, okay. I can lift up this cup. <laughs> What's going on? I'm seeing noise. Calm down. It'll go back to normal once you stop consciously using your power. Oh, you're right. That really surprised me. Nice. It was a success. What is this program? When it detects power usage, it affects your visual senses to discourage its use. I call it the forced break program. What? Why did you make a pointless program like that? It's not pointless. If you apply various conditions to the program, you'll be able to restrict overworking. It's even more effective with an organization like the OSF where powers are necessary. Nobody can be working 24 seven. In other words, I considerately made this program so people can use it as an excuse to rest. I still think it was pretty reckless to stick it in my head. Anyway, you can't fight now, which means you have to rest. Enjoy your free time. Well, I am pretty tired. Yeah. Why don't you order something? Nothing like eating your favorite food into a food coma. Ugh. Okay, then. It's only good if you get to rest afterwards. I guess I'll take a break. Although, I've got tons of problems I should be dealing with. I wish Nagi were here. <sighs> What's with all the sighing? Am I that boring? Oh, sorry. I didn't mean anything like that. There's just so much happening that I'm having a hard time relaxing. I don't know how to deal with it. It's easy. Just do whatever it feels like your body wants to. You know, like this. Just lean back. Ugh, oh, that's so relaxing. You try. Wow, that's... Quite the position. 
I wish I saw you like this before I enlisted. What's that supposed to mean? Before I enlisted, I only knew you through the press. You were so friendly and lively. That's when I'm on the clock. This is me off the clock. If you don't know when to switch between the two, you're going to break down. I make sure to stay off the clock as long as I can so I don't break. I think you should do the same. Thanks for your concern, but I can't just... I see. I'm not trying to push anything on you. I apologize, but I learned a lot. Wait, did you uninstall the program? I'll try to tone down my advice from now on. Time to call it a day. Dodge. She does it so she doesn't break. I guess that's one way to live. Although, that program is a little overkill. <laughs> no, 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 no way. <laughs> I like that response. Just like, no, 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 no. Alright, well, that's it for this episode, folks. I will catch you all in the next one, which should be Sunday's episode. Um, until then, have fun, be safe, and aloha.